Welcome to our few moments together on the Pasha. On this week, Pasha Ha'azinu, this Shabbos, we're going to be meeting. And it's right after Yom Kippur, in which we had the wonderful opportunity to grant to get forgiveness that Hashem granted us all, and we're on a new slate. And the first thing we read is Ha'azinu Hashemayim Va'adabeira. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, says Moshe. And the earth should hear the words, the pronouncements of my mouth. Why does Moshe call upon the heavens and the earth to give ear and to listen to his words? So Rashi says, that I am warning the Jewish people, the Tihu Adam Bedover, that these two, the heavens and the earth, are going to be Adam, testimony. They're going to be witnesses over the fact that you've heard the song of the Torah. You've heard the Shira, the beautiful music that the Torah makes for everyone who listens to it. It's to dance over the beauty of the music the Torah makes for our lives. And Moshe calls them to witness. Now, of course, the obvious question is that the heavens and the earth are not witnesses. Witnesses have to be two adults. They have to be human beings who can come and testify. So how are the heavens and earth witnesses? So there are a number of different answers. One answer is Rav Sadya Gaon, Rav Sadya Gaon, who says that it's talking about the heavenly spheres, and it's talking about the dwellers of the earth. The heavens and the heavenly spheres and the dwellers on the earth will always give witness of the fact of the Torah. Rashi says it's the actual heavens and earth that are going to be bearing witness because if you follow the Torah, they're going to give you what the heavens give. Rain and the earth is going to give forth its produce. And Another interpretation is that the Shemayim means those who live up in heaven and the earth means those who live on the earth. The heavenly angels will be witness and so will the people on earth. And all of these, of course, are problematic in one way or another. The Malbim comes along and he says that the Shemayim means the human beings, the Jews, who are Gedolei Torah, who are performing the mitzvahs, the tzaddikim of the world, all of us who fulfill the commandments, we are the ones who are going to be witnesses about what goes on when keeping the Torah. Hashemayim refers to those who have, have spiritual nature. They will be brought as witness. And the Oretz, the Oretz refers to the people down here who live, the Jewish people, who live their simple lives and live the life of the performance of the Torah and the mitzvahs without being Rashi Yeshiva or Rabbanim or Gedole Torah, just the Pasha to Yid, so to speak. The simple Jew is also going to be a witness. Now let's think about this, people. The Jewish people, both the most righteous and the simplest of us, we are witnesses to the song of the Torah. The fact that after 3,300 years since the giving of the Torah, the Jewish people are loyal and are celebrating, enjoying the life of the observance of the commandments that bring so much meaning so much joy, so much connection with each other and with our Creator, that we are the witnesses no matter what happens, no matter how many persecutions, no matter how the world turns and how much things happen in history, there's one constant that's a testimony to Hashem's giving of the Torah. And that is the Jewish people. We are. After Yom Kippur, 
We are the testimony of the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has given the Torah. And so, Azinu HaShemayim, says the Malbim, those who are high and righteous, the Sishma HaOretz, and even you and I, the simple folk, we are the testimony of the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah and that the Jewish people are eternal as the Torah is eternal. And the post-Yom Kippur opportunity to go out in the street and live in the sukkah and participate in Hashem's divine protection over us is the surest sign that the Torah is eternal. And Zinu HaShemayim, the Tishma HaOretz, I wish everyone a wonderful, wonderful Simchas Yom Tov, a great, wonderful Chag Sameach, Hashem should bless us all with all the blessings that come to those who keep the Torah and are part of Klal Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.